All right. We're here with uh, Jess over at, uh, oh my gosh, Sugar Fit Jess, and then Nick over at Nick Gets Fit. All right. So we're just doing uh, four questions here. Go check their channels out. I'll put them down in the description box. Uh, give them likes, subscribes, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, first question that I'm going to ask is, where do you get your protein? <laughs> <clears throat> Jess, you can go. Um. Uh, yeah. What a dumb question. I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks, <Ryan. laughs> no offense, Ryan, but I know you're being silly. Um, yeah, there's so much protein in plants. There's so much protein. If I really wanted to eat beans, like a lot more beans than I do, I mean, it would just go through the roof, my protein count. But I don't even want to do that because protein, excess protein, what does it do? Just, you don't need it. You don't need it. And, you know, for me, I, with type 2 diabetes, I want to protect my kidneys. So I'm not, I'm not all about getting extra protein. And I do work out a lot. I do I probably. Well, every day something very strenuous, and I still don't worry about protein. So, agree. And if you look at even potatoes, like there's enough protein in potatoes. There's enough of everything in potatoes to live off, really. And that's what Andrew Taylor did for the year. Um, and yeah, I mean, protein. It really annoys me when they say, "Where do you get your protein?" And I get that asked. I got that asked a few weeks ago at a friend's house and it's almost like you want to laugh at that question. It's like you don't need that much protein. Um, and, you know, no one ever died of and not enough protein, you know, that's just, yeah. But again, a people aren't educated. So unfortunately that question still gets asked and, you know, people still today think they need, you know, protein, especially in animals um to actually live which is rubbish you know so yeah one thing that i am thinking about as you're talking it's easy to be deficient in something if you're not getting enough calories i think a lot of people that come over to a plant-based lifestyle they're just not used to the volume of food so they don't eat enough and then yeah you can be deficient in a lot of things if you're only eating 1500 calories for my body, my size, I need a, at least 2,500 calories. And, and right about there is when all, like on my chronometer, they're all green. Everything is green, meaning it was, it's filled in and I'm, I have enough of all the vitamins and nutrients that I need. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, was I mean. I, I, about Greg, McGregor, McGregor, McGregor. Oh, McGregor. I always do think it's McGregor myself. Yeah, it's I, I actually I made a video about him and I the first yeah the the first the first title that I put in had McGregor on there. I'm like that doesn't look right. <laughs> he wishes he was a muck, hey? Eh? Yeah. Um, I guess I'll go. You know, it just the, the reason I got into vegan is because I used to eat so much protein. I basically destroyed my kidneys and my liver function. So uh, I stay as far away from it as, as humanly possible. And even when I was, I was, I lifted in vegan. And I, I mean, I still could, I mean, I didn't lift heavy, heavy. I, I probably, I think the heaviest I did was like maybe a 500 pound squat, maybe like a 600 pound deadlift. And I wasn't really eating that much protein. You know, I might've had to increase uh, it to, to really keep up with the weightlifting, but I didn't want to go much above those weights anyway. But yeah, I just, um, I don't understand the question, honestly, because if you look at the FDA, they, the daily recommended allowance, I think it's 55 grams. And people think you need like 300 grams of it for some reason. Mm. I went to this keto page the other day. Um, I don't know why, um, but I did. I checked it out because the guy always comments on my channel. So I was going to comment on his channel just to be nice. Um and then I saw someone comment on his channel that they had 30 grams of carbs for the day. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was That's like, painful. I can't. And I, I got really nervous and I got out of that channel because I'm like, I can't be here. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This isn't, you know, I, I can't do it. Like, I really can't. And sorry, you know, you just, yeah. But when I saw that, I was like, no. But, yeah, they, that's all they eat is protein, isn't it, and fat. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's kind of funny because some of my trolls, 
you know, one day they're telling me I got to eat protein. So then if I talk about protein in another video, they're like, no, you really need fat. I'm like, you know, and, and they make up different diets every, every, every time they comment, I'm like, you guys have no idea what you're talking about. It's, it's comical. We all know who you're talking about. No, it's more than what you like. I get a lot of these keto people now it's, it's, you oh, know, and they, they change their great. stories every time. The, you're planting the seed in their mind. Yeah. Hopefully they get the message because I mean I'm I'm 11 years in and still having to get rid of the uh, destruction I did to to my organs. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. Go on, fire the next question. All right, what are your thoughts on sugar? Should you take it 500, 800 grams a day? What should you do? So I guess my viewpoint has changed a lot over the last few weeks, and I used to have quite a bit in my smoothies, sugar water, but because of my weight at the moment and going up and up, there's, I've been speaking to quite a few people on my channel and they all say to me, unless you're doing a lot of exercise, um, then to probably, I don't know, to cut back on that. I mean, I do think sugar is an important part of, you know, making you feel good. And, you know, I'm definitely not a sugar phobe and I don't want to be. I also think, you know, it's a lot of energy if you're not using it all. Um, so I would say slowly introduce it until your body's ready um, or at least when you're at goal weight and, you know, the sugar water wouldn't be as bad because your body is at the weight it needs to be. Um, so my opinion is probably I think the obviously the brain does run on sugar, but you can get sugar from plants. Um, and if you can do that first, then go ahead. But obviously if your smoothie is not sweet enough, um, putting a bit of sugar in isn't going to hurt. It's just going to make you enjoy it more. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely... I, I, the 500 grams or 800 grams or whatever I was, you know, mentioned to try and do, I just, yeah, the weight just kept going up and up and I found it really hard to drink that much sugar. But saying that, I must admit when I did have it, I did sleep so well. So, you know, but I could have like a couple of tablespoons before bed now, maybe, and try that and see if that helps. Um, but yeah, I think you just got to be careful because it's still energy. If you can get your energy from food first and then add as a supplement rather than using it as, you know, a source of food, which I have been doing, I guess, because I'd be having that and then a breakfast. So rather than using it as a supplement, I've been using it as a main source. So that's that's my opinion anyway. For me, like, well, I'm type 2 diabetic, so I've always been told that sugar is the enemy. And when I started adding sugar, it was when I started seeing my blood sugars drop into normal range. So I don't go nuts with it, but um, I noticed when I would put 100 grams of sugar into my smoothie in the morning, I would have normal blood sugars within an hour, hour and a half. And before that, it was taking several hours for my sugars to go back to normal. Dr. McDougall has said that sugars help sugar, even white table sugar helps insulin work better. And I found that for myself, for sure. That being said, I don't, I don't see myself ever doing 500, 800 grams. I don't think that's necessary, but I do add sugar when I go on my long hikes. Cause I, I was having trouble. I'd be on this long hike in the middle of the mountains and have, I would totally bonk and not have enough energy to get back. So I think in a combination, a combination of upping my calories just from real food, but also having sugar available has helped me to remain, you know, having enough energy. So I'm not afraid of sugar. I'm really not. And I've actually seen it be a useful tool for my diabetes. That's awesome, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Now, honestly, I used to add, uh, use about two to three even four pounds of it a week when I was doing a, a bunch of cycling. Uh, one of the biggest reasons was, is I used to keep dates with me, but the bees will hunt you down. If you've got dates, a lot of dates on you, they will, they'll, they'll actually start chasing you. 
because I was I mean, cause I was riding out in cow country, you know, there's nothing there. And there was a lot of bees because there's a lot of farms and stuff and they will come after you. So I started just keeping sugar in a container and I didn't have I didn't have as many issues. And it, it's a lot easier to kind of control how much you're eating. And dates are, are like, you know, what, fifteen dollars a pound or something like that. So it's a whole lot cheaper than uh, than dates. I'm not I have no issues with it. But that eight hundred gram thing that uh, that what, what's her name? Seppi was talking about i just i cannot see doing that i just don't see the what the, the the point of it would be you know and on top of the fact that she's doing that and doing her regular regular diet it just doesn't i just don't get it but i also don't get why people are so scared of it either that doesn't make any sense <coughs> i want to find a balance for my life of having enough sugar whether that's from fruits or from actual table sugar and, and having too much, like the balance being having the energy and the desire to do my workouts, because yeah. I can sit there and you know, not have sugar at all in my diet and not want to do anything. And great, maybe I'm losing weight, but it, it doesn't make me feel happy or excited to go out and conquer a mountain or anything else that I want to do fitness wise. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure I found the balance yet, but I'm, I'm willing to keep trying because I think it's worth it's worth trying, you know. I've noticed on the bike, you need it. Like you go through, you burn carbs way more than you do if you're walking, running, hiking. I, and like, I don't know if everybody saw that video uh, that I did yesterday. They, they did a study on this and you actually burn carbs. You don't really burn fat yeah, on your cycling. That. I saw that today. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I had seen that video years ago, whenever she made it 2016. And I completely forgot about that. Um, but it makes sense. And that's why, I mean, I just couldn't get enough of it. That I, I, that's why I had to keep an entire container with me. Cause sometimes I would go out for like a 40, 50 mile ride. You're out in the middle of nowhere. You haven't passed any, any civilization. You're about, you know, you're around these thousand, 2000 acre farms. There's nothing there. So I, I had to keep it with me. I mean, I do believe that sugar is sugar, regardless of where it comes from, whether it's maple syrup, dates, sugar, like obviously dates, has got fiber, but sugar is still sugar. So, um, yeah, I just, and I think like Serpy knows so much about this stuff. And is it'd be Serpy? great to Serpy. I don't, okay. yeah, I don't know. But it'd be so good to actually talk to her one on one, mm -hmm. or maybe she can join this, but just to tell us because I'm getting to the point now, I just think I want to get down to well, at least lose the kilos I've put on at the moment and then maybe start introducing sugar. So, yeah. Are we ready for question number three? All right. Yep. Why do you think it's easier to lose weight on starch solution than raw till four? We were just talking about this, Nick. Um, the, the fact that starches are so... What is the word? I don't, I'm not going to pronounce it right. Satiating. 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 I mean, you can eat a load of potatoes. I mean, a giant plate of potatoes and you're maybe talking 600 calories. Mm -hmm. And then you're not going to want to eat for hours. You're also not going to want to move for hours. But, you know, at least I, I don't. But, yeah. Yeah. I And I also think maybe when I used to do potatoes only and I lost all that weight, I think the thing is maybe I did eat under what I was supposed to eat and maybe that is a reason too that because I was full but not counting calories or anything like that I probably did go into a deficit so I think maybe in that way maybe I didn't eat enough so maybe maybe my body was healing now and or is healing and I'm starting to eat what my body needs I don't know I don't have the answers but I think also raw to four you just fruit to me doesn't fill me up as much. Like it's just you can easily easily overeat on fruit. I think anyway. So yeah, definitely. I think there's people out there that do raw to four really well, and I think if you follow Freely's advice um, from her raw to four book, is completely different to how Durham Rider Durham Rider actually portrays it. And it's more like she cuts it down into calories, like 800 calories for lunch, breakfast, and then dinner's like a 500 calorie starch. 
which on potatoes you could probably do because it's quite filling. On rice, probably not so much because you it wouldn't really get much, I don't think, for rice. Um, and, yeah, I just, she, so from her, so if you followed Freely's advice, you'd probably lose the weight just as much as you would probably starch solution or potatoes only or whatever way you want to look at it. But I know I tried Freely's version too and I was starving. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's a problem I run into is potatoes. I'll eat, you know, four or five pota- pounds of potatoes and I'm f- stuffed, but I'm hungry at the same time. Yeah. So that's the problem I run into with this stuff is, you know, I'm, I, ca- I can't get anything else down, but I'm really hungry at the same time. So that's the problem I, I run into. It. What's that? You drinking enough before? Oh, yeah. I always get. I so always what's go through. the solution for that? I mean, because I I don't I've, know. I haven't found it. Honestly, I really have not found a solution to that. You know, that's why I add all the bananas in the morning because, you know, I've always had, I, I can't eat oatmeal and not be I like 45 minutes, even like I was making two cups of oatmeal, dry cups, and I'd be hungry like an hour later at best. It's just, it, it really, there's very few things that, that actually fill me up and keep me satiated. That's why when I read about potatoes being satiating, I just, I don't understand it. Rice on occasion. Uh, does it for me but i mean honestly i just you should see the amount of food that i just ate and I, i'm like I, I feel like i never even ate hmm. i probably just ate like three or four pounds of, of rice and, and beans and, and uh corn and i just it's like i didn't even eat when you add the sugar ryan does it feel like you are more satiated because yeah. i've actually felt that way like yeah. i was you know, I'm I'm over here with Nick, like waffling back and forth about what we're gonna do, and I'm like, I'm just gonna cut down some of the sugar in the last few days, and I ate peanut butter for the first time today, and it just broke me because peanut butter is a disaster for my diabetes, and I was like, you know, I can handle having peanut butter in the house, and I got a sandwich out for my son, and the next thing I know, I'm eating it, and my blood sugars will be terrible tomorrow. And it's because, and I really feel like it's because I didn't have the sugar like I had because I, it's so freeing not having those cravings at night, not feeling like you are always hungry. And the only time I've ever had that was when I was, you know, upping the calories to three thousand or so and adding some sugar. So I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I, I basically have to add it. Otherwise, I'm always hungry. Like right now, I could I could like eat five pounds of potatoes, guaranteed. It's, it drives me nuts. And I honestly, I'm going to answer my own question here, but like uh, raw, raw till four. Um, I honestly think that if you're into athletics, if you're, if you're really cycling, if you're really, I don't know, rowing or hiking or running or, or whatever, I think it's perfect. But, it, you know, because if you look at the clientele that, that the star solution has, it's, it's mostly sedentary people. Whereas the people who gravitate to raw till four are, are usually, you know, cycling and cycling mostly or some kind of uh, endurance a- uh, athletics. Mm-hmm. And Ali, he's even admitted it himself. He targets young people. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you know, he does. Young guys yeah. and girls, and they're probably all sporty. Yeah. Um, so, you know, a lot of them are riding 200 Ks a week. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, I mean, because we used to show up to the gym with uh, a two liters of, of you know, like Mountain Dew or something like that, because it would help us get through the workouts a lot better. Um, but I think if you're just, uh, you know, a couch warrior, or, you know, sitting in front of the screen all day, I, I just I, I got to think that the Star Solution is better for you. But then and he says that he's a doctor, too. Like, you know, you got to you got to yeah. like it's like. As much as there's a lot of Durham Rider he says I agree with, sometimes I'm like he uses old information, he uses the same responses, and, you know, he doesn't, he, you know, you ask him a question, he'll give you the same response that he gave you 20 years ago. But, you know, McDougall actually has that science behind him and, you know, he's actually a qualified doctor and, you know, and I, like I said, you know, he's really just ripping off the rice diet. But these people were really ill, weren't they, when they were doing the rice diet? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. 
All right. I guess my final question is, what are your thoughts on the rice diet? It's kind of funny that you bring that up because that was, that was probably the best I've felt in a while. Um, but I just got so damn tired of rice. Honestly, I have some serious digestion issues. I'm still trying to figure out what, what causes what, but I'm terrible bloating after a meal that shouldn't give me bloating, but does. But the only thing that doesn't give me bloating is fruit and rice and juice. So there you go. It's the rice diet that doesn't, doesn't really affect me negatively at all. And, but I don't want to be so strict and only have those three items in my life. But those things are very, very useful for when I want to work out. Like I won't, if I want to do a long hike, it'll be fruit or rice. And that's it. Cause I don't, I know it's best for me for digestion and for feeling good. Well, rice is uh, anti or not inf inf uh, inflammatory. Uh, unlike, you know, potatoes actually kind of are, if you really look at it, there's a lot of inflammation from potatoes. I don't so know. Might have I, something to do with it. I like the rice diet, but I also found that I had to use so much soy sauce. Mm. And, you know, actually um, Pauline from Sugar Made Me Lean said to actually get the soy sauce and dilute it with water first. Um, so I guess that could be an option. But, yeah, I was smashing the um, soy sauce and I just found that I was quite hungry all the time. Um, but, again, you know, like it, it's still a healthy option, the, the rice diet. Um, but I didn't feel as full as what I would be if I, you know, had a little bit more like potatoes type thing. See, potatoes don't upset me at all. So I think you two have got issues with your gut. <laughs> uh, we might have, uh, I think I have an issue with nightshades because I know my mom actually does. She's actually been tested for it and she can't eat eggplant, onion, uh, and a couple other things. And that they're all in that nightshade family. But isn't what? that like inflammation in your joints and stuff versus inflammation in your no, gut? No, it's just, it radiates out Everywhere. of your gut. And, yeah. I do find though nutritional yeast um, upsets me quite a bit. Hmm. So, yeah, I mean, it is. Tasty, I've never heard but... that one before. Hmm. I've heard regular yeast, but not nutritional yeast. I guess maybe they're in the same family. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So my thought was that's actually the best I've felt this in a long time was on the rice diet. It really was. But, you know, like, again, that's that satiating thing. I had to eat uh, like four cups dry five cups dry in one sitting to be fine which is a lot and it takes forever so i i, I don't know i i don't know I'm, I'm toying with either doing uh fully raw or just the rice diet again uh coming up here in march but i don't know we could just we could just make our own diet up between the three of us and sell it on and yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. new rules are for yeah yeah, raw after four. <laughs> yeah. And make a ton of money. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I I actually never did the raw till four, and I didn't even really know what it was. I, I kind of just did it by myself just because it was easier to do it that way. And it worked really well for me, but I didn't. I didn't follow any of their calorie guidelines. I didn't know that they were a thing until I saw a high carb Hannah complaining about it. And I'm like, what? I, I didn't read, you know, I didn't read the rules. Did you, no. um, don't you find though, when you have avocado or something like that, you were a lot more satiated, like fuller, like when you used to do avocados. I did, but endurance wise, it, it really kills the endurance, mm -hmm. like really kills the, like you really notice it the next day. Mm -hmm. even half an avocado yeah i mean you really notice it uh, you know because i you know i used to live in eastern pennsylvania which is a lot of hills and i would i could fly up a hill and then if i had avocado that night i could barely get up that same hill the next day for me it's i'm i'm almost grateful for my type 2 diabetes because it gives me immediate um what's the word Feedback, immediate feedback, because if I eat even a quarter of an avocado, my sugars are messed up for a week. So that keeps me going on the right path for other parts of my health, 
So I guess I'm grateful for that. I, yeah, I could not do avocado like that or peanut butter. All right. Well, I guess that's it. For, that's my four questions. I made them up. That happened. Um, wow. <laughs> so uh, go check everybody. Uh, check their, them out. Check their channels out. Give us all likes, subscribes. Well, they'll, they'll go up at some point in, in the week. So look out for them. Uh, and talk to you next time. Like, subscribe. Comments, questions down below. And that's it.